Hi, my name is Yanni and this is Mystery Islands Music. In this video we are going to take a quick look at the Access Virus AG plugin, what it is, what it can do, how it works and why we made it. So Access Virus AG is an audio unit and VST editor and librarian plugin for the Access Virus synthesizers. With this plugin we are supporting all of the Access Virus models which has been released um, to date. So if you own Virus A, Virus B, Virus C, Virus TI, Virus TI2 or Virus TI Snow then this plugin is for you. Okay so um, basically the Virus AG plugin uh, allows you to edit your virus directly in your DAW if you can host audio unit or VST format plugins. Uh, the plugin is available for uh, Mac and PC. It comes in 32 and 64 bit formats. In my setup I've got a virus TI2 which is on there and then I've got a virus C which is right there and um, I'm using a, a demo project in this video to showcase uh, how I utilize the viruses uh, within my Logic Pro X project. So you get to see some of the basic features and uh, how to do automation, uh, routing of MIDI and choosing the right model etc. So why we made this plugin? Um, that's quite a long story but most of the virus TI users are struggling with the original plugin which comes with the hardware. So uh, just like an anyone else I'm having issues with the sync errors and some other nonsense. Uh, that's not because of the virus TI plugin but uh, it's basically about my system. So um, I'm running a slave Mac right there which is uh, running PowerCore DSP platform, if that's uh, known for uh, any of the weavers. And then I've got um, uh, Universal Audio Apollo system and the UAD2 platform on my master Mac. So I've got three of the Apollo interfaces right there. And um, when I'm using all of these um, audio DSP processing and then I've got a lot of uh, external gear in my studio. It's giving a um, hard time for the TI plugin and uh, uh, it basically gave in. So uh, instead of using the USB connection we made a plugin that can handle the virus TI with the regular MIDI. So uh, as long as you've got a proper good MIDI interface and a mixing console or sound card where you can root your virus then you'll be fine and um, yeah that's pretty much the reason why we made it so now the plugin works uh, we can access the virus uh, from from our DAW without any um, sync errors or so. Um, one of the most interesting feature about the virus AG plugin is the total recall. So just like me it, uh, when I'm using the plugin in my projects and I save the project uh, it stores all, all of the virus data within the project. So next time if I uh, want to return to that same project uh, uh, all I need to do is to power up my virus and launch the project and all of the data from the plugin will be dumped into my virus. So as long as I remember to power it up I'll be hearing the sound again what I used in a project. Okay so I think we are good to go with the project and see how it sounds. Um, I'm using multiple cameras in my setup to give the best possible result to via the plugin uh, and hardware interacting between each other. And um, yeah, 
Let's take the Logic Pro project and see how it works. Okay, so now we got the Logic Pro X open and I've got this little demo project here which I wanted to show and showcase how I'm using the plugin um, and how I'm doing the routing of MIDI and audio and stuff. So let's get into it. Uh, first of all, I've got um, instrument channels, uh, right? The one which is selected and then I've got a second one right here. So they are both running uh, the Virus AG plugin. It's this channel and that channel. And um, the way I do my routing is basically I open up the plugin, then I go to multi mode mixer, multi settings, and I choose the model right here. So this is for the Virus C and then I exit, choose the MIDI in, and also MIDI out. So that makes the connection into the uh, hardware, and then I can synchronize data from hardware, or um, if I want to start from scratch, um, I'll just go and pick up some patches and put them into the virus and start playing. So now that we are checking out the GUI, uh, this is the multi-mode mixer where you can adjust the outputs, FX send, um, and all of the basic parameters which you get in the multi-mode. Uh, next up, we've got a patch browser where you can choose different banks and you can also browse patches by category, like so. Also, we've got quite compressed uh, also, we got quite amazing um, features here in the bank edit menu, where you can request patches from uh, from the hardware into the plugin GUI, from the hardware into the librarian, and so on and so on. Same goes with the storing of data. So that's all good. Then we can save the bank into standard MIDI file format, or we can do our own format batches and obviously you can import MIDI and system exclusive VHC banks. So moving on we've got the oscillators filters and envelopes page where you can do all of the uh, parameter changes. Uh, the GUI layout is quite straightforward it's really simple and easy to understand. LFO and modulation matrix. So uh, you got all of the three LFOs here and modulation slots. Then we've got FX and settings number one. So you get all of the uh, FX which are available and also FX settings two is a bit more advanced. So for example, if I pick up the virus TI uh, selected plugin, the FX page is a bit different because TI has a bit more into it. So again, I go to choose the model right here and then I choose the MIDI in and out and that makes the call into the virus TI. All right, so in our page here to page, you've got various different options, but since TI has the uh, ability to edit user patterns, uh, you can do that with our plugin as well. All right, so um, let's go to the project again and um, take a look a bit more into the settings what I've done here. So as we got these instrument channels where the plugins are, I always set them to be MIDI channel all if that's available for your uh, DAW. Uh, then I add MIDI tracks and I assign 
assign them right into the hardware. So I'm not forwarding these ports into the plugin and from the plugin it would go to the hardware. And that is going to cause some unnecessary peaks in the uh, plugin usage because it's doing all of that crazy routing inside it. So in this case I've got a couple of tracks hidden so we can see all of those parts right here so they are all going into the virus C and same goes with the TI so they're going MIDI out into the virus TI. Then what I've got is um, audio inputs so this input comes from the TI 1 and 2, next is for the 3 and 4 and the third one is for 5 and 6. And we have a slave Mac input here because uh, my virus is uh, connected into my slave Mac which is running uh, Arami Radat and then I've got uh, for uh, Behringer ADA8200 converters so uh, that takes care of it and then I'm doing the mixing in my slave Mac and then it's being sent into the master Mac so that's uh, that's coming in there and um, yeah on uh, slave Mac I've got all of the three inputs uh, actually three outputs from the virus so they come into into my logic there and I can then take the mix down and send it right here um, what else uh, the virus TI is connected in uh, to my ferrofish pool 16 ADDA converter which is absolutely amazing and that is connected into my Apollo rig which is right there and um, yeah I think that's pretty much about the setup how I've done everything and um, I think it's time to hear what this sounds like and we'll go to the both of the viruses to see how the plugin reacts when we uh, change the plugin parts and uh, uh, how we change the parameters in in the virus so check it out I'm gonna go with the virus C first um, I'm gonna go scroll through some of the parts so you can see how it interacts in the plugin GUI and then we move on into the virus TI so let's hit it <music> So as you can see, um, when I click through the parts in the actual hardware, it changes the part in the plugin GUI. And um, uh, if I change the parts right here in the plugin, it also changes the parts in the hardware. So that's pretty amazing. And um, like I mentioned, if I return to this project, all of the data will be sent automatically to your virus. So there's not really any need for uh, storing data into the virus like back in the days. So um, let's do some automation. Um, so I choose the instrument channel. Let's hide the plugins for a bit and the mixer. So to get to the automation, we choose the plugin name 
and then we choose the part which we want to automate and this list is quite long um, probably yeah you can't see there's about uh, 30 more items below the screen but um, that's because I'm cropping the uh, display resolution so for instance we want to go to the part 3 and do some automation for for the pads uh, so I just take the nodes here and draw it in so that's pretty much it uh, then I have a riff here on uh, part 2 which you didn't hear yet so I'm just gonna go and choose filter cutoff for that as well and let's draw that in we'll play this in a minute and we'll call it a day so if you're looking for more advanced tutorials we definitely recommend to go uh, in our website and check out what we've got there uh, in regards to your needs okay so this is part four so that is the main riff on this virus so I'm just gonna draw automation for that as well and have it unmuted and um, yeah the virus ti is going to struggle playing back all of the midi because that main riff on a ti is absolutely hammering the dsp on a ti so um actually let's open up the plugin gui again to see how that works when you hit the play button okay enjoy Okay, that's it. So um, head down to our website. I'm just gonna show it up and uh, you can download the uh, plugin demo. It's free. So just go to mysteryislands-music.com and you'll find the plugin if you go to shop plugins and then you choose the virus HC. Um, you get to download the demo, that's free. Um, read a bit uh, more about the plugin, how it works and how it's going to, and hopefully going to uh, improve your workflow. Then we've got a bit more uh, detailed specifications, some examples of how to do some uh, routings and what the plugin doesn't do obviously and um, downloads tab you'll find 32-bit demo downloads for mac and windows uh, demo limitations so yeah that's an interesting one so automation parameter uh, automating parameters is disabled so that's not going to happen with the demo version total recall is disabled so if you store your project with the uh, demo plugin in it, it will not recall anything. So all of the data what is in the plugin will be uh, completely destroyed. Uh, some library and functions are disabled, like storing patches into the uh, virus hardware or storing patches into your own HDD. Um, demo version cannot be registered, so you need to log in and download the uh, full version from your account or actually 
it's right here on the downloads page. Uh, then we've got some uh, preparation uh, guidance for uh, both of the virus models, uh, ABC settings, and then we got TI, TI2, TI Snow settings, which you should go through and make sure that they match. And yeah, I think that's pretty much about it. We've got some excellent customer reviews. Um, be sure to read those out as well. They are absolutely 100% uh, uh, customer based. So it's not like uh, any cheeky reviews. Uh, then we got the FAQ page. So there's a lot of information about how the licensing method works, uh, refunding and a lot more like that. So yeah, I hope you find the plugin uh, interesting and uh, uh, we hope you give it a try. And if you have any questions, uh, leave us an email or uh, open up the chats on the website and uh, we will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and uh, see you soon.